What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're on a fantastic day today. And today we have a massive Airliners International 2024 update video for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, I love the welcome JJ Skippy here for today's video. We have a bunch of awesome news to bring to you. And JJ, how's it going today, man? fantastic today how about you doing fantastic especially now that we finally have some more airliners international news here for 2024 as we know we've been waiting since november to hear additional news but we finally have some really great news and i'm really looking forward to all this first and foremost though if you did miss that video that jj and i did in november with all the news regarding registration hotel and more definitely check that out these preparation videos will be sequenced as such to watch in order but we'll catch you up to speed if you haven't seen that video yet so you know what's going on so definitely looking forward to this we got a bunch to talk about we just got an email today on march 7th 2024 with some great updates here so without any further delay let's go ahead and get started so first and foremost the airlines international team has wished us well which we greatly appreciate and let's go ahead and get into the updates that we finally have it's been a little slow they say but as we get close to tour sign up it is time for an update so first and foremost as we talked about in that first preparation video the general registration sign up is now online and it has been updated since last year 2023 in dallas so this system has made it easier to update we talked about that more extensively in the first video but they were phrasing that as it really is an awesome system and here in a minute we'll show you a little bit of that as well it's also very important for vendors too, as it makes it much easier to pay them and that payment's due on March 31st. So ultimately looking very forward to that and that should be absolutely awesome. And last but certainly not least, very important to note that the Hilton bookings have been very strong. There is limited availability left for Wednesday and Thursday. So definitely get your hotels made, uh, reservations made if you haven't already, because those days are gonna be going soon. So JJ, what do you think about all that to start? I'm especially happy to hear that there's been strong bookings with the Hilton Hotel and also as you can tell on the email they are trying to get a second hotel with the show rate the $139 a night show rate so that just shows how popular Kansas City is this year compared to uh, Chicago which is the last comparable show because that had a similar sized hotel in Chicago absolutely cannot agree enough and it's really exciting to see that there's a potential second hotel i think that would be the first time in airliners history so that means that the attendance rate for a city of the size of kansas city is going to be fantastic so that really just goes to show and a testament to our community and what we're building with this convention so overall really exciting and we have even more exciting news to assess let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit better so the bbq returns as they have planned another friday night at the props bbq on friday night june 28th 2024 this year will be at the twa museum at the downtown kansas city airport mkc the bbq will import uh bus transportation from the hilton hotel to the downtown airport a mission into the entire twa museum which i think is absolutely fantastic catered kansas city bbq and a cash beer soda bar as well the bbq will be limited to 200 attendees you do not have to be a registered attendee for this event the details on the cost and booking will be emailed with your booking information the traditional welcome party will be on thursday night as well so this is really great to hear that it's now official that this is a very popular event from the airlines international 2007 event which was also in kansas city will be returning so a really nice throwback right here it should be really cool to get to uh relive this moment i'm really excited for this obviously neither of us got to attend this back in 2007 we were both like four and three years old so really excited for this it should be absolutely awesome so jj what are you thinking about bbq under the props dude i'm excited for the friday night of the props hopefully they got um, a really good plane that we can sit under i think at that particular museum they have like a dc3 or a dc2 in there some really old douglas planes i'm thinking they may get us under that or better yet if they could get somehow get access into that other museum on the other side of the property they they can pull out that constellation they got sitting in there we could sit under that that would be perfect so hopefully they can work around that because i know they got some problems over at that other museum, unfortunately. Looking super forward to this. So it's pretty much gonna be like a back-to-back -back welcome receptions uh, for the first two days of the uh, collectible show, which is gonna be really fun. So personally, I'm looking really forward to it. So a couple of major notes to uh, note from this. Number one, more information will be coming out when they are when they get information going for the tours. This will be later this month in early April. So keep your eyes out for that and we'll show you how to get signed up for these newsletters if you're not already getting them. And second off, this is very important because as you all know, last year we had the spotting meetup on Friday. Most likely, 
likely the spotting meetup will be on Wednesday night this year. That's currently what I'm thinking. More information to come on that, but that's currently the notes to be took from that. So overall, we are working together to get as many events as possible. And despite the limited plane spotting compared to a city like Dallas, it's still gonna be very fun and a great opportunity to make some awesome memories throughout the process. And hopefully some Southwest specials, FedEx 767, Delta 757, JetBlue A220, among others. Also very important to note that the Spring Airlines show seasons is well underway. We have the San Francisco show coming up uh, as tomorrow as of the time of uploading this video, which is awesome. And then Dallas will be on April 20th, followed by Chicago on May 11th. So looking very forward to all this, the uh, shows this year and should be absolutely awesome. Next, really excited to note that they have officially, according to this, scheduled tours for Jet Midwest, the TWA Museum at 10 Richards Road, MKC, the Amelia Earhart Museum, and also the Hangar Museum, which is fantastic. The TriStar Experience for November 9, 1, 910 Tango Echo in the National uh, Weather Service Aviation Weather Center in MCI and more. So that personally to me, I think is a, by far the best that we could have done with an airport like MCI. The fact that we got all these quality tours for two amazing museums, the TriStar Experience, which is super cool. Jed Midwest should be an absolute talent show of a maintenance facility. And then of course, the National Weather Service Aviation Weather Center. I think this was really fantastic to be able to lock all this in this early in the process and looking forward to more information on this later this month so that should be absolutely awesome so jj what do you think about these tours these tours are going to be very exciting and i must say the tristar experience is a must do because as far as i'm aware that's one of only two surviving tristars that's left the other is the stargazer one that's based out in arizona so this is a very rare opportunity to get up close and personal with a TriStar, L1011 TriStar, fully built, and it is still airworthy, but do keep in mind that they're probably not going to take us up in the skies. As much fun as that would be to go up in the, up in the air in a TriStar, probably not going to happen, unfortunately, but being around a TriStar is already fantastic in of itself. So I'm looking forward to that TriStar experience and also all the other applicable tours that they have going on as well. It's going to be an absolute blast. Just wanted to play that quick little video for you all so you can see what's going on there. But ultimately, huge thank you to the Airlines International team for making all these tours possible. It's going to be fantastic. And in conjunction with this, we're going to have more seminars this year, which will actually be expanding in the Wednesday for the first time in a long time, if not ever, for airliners. So this is going to be really cool. And a list will be coming out in the next few weeks. So I look forward to making this a more prominent part of my Airlines International content, not only for myself to experience, but obviously to show you all the experience because airline history is absolutely fantastic as we know this is one of the main components of airliners international so it's very important that we recognize this and i'm really excited to talk about that more going forward and all tours will have featured bus transportation from the hilton hotel and the tour list and booking information will be posted by the end of march so another update video will be coming out very soon probably shortly after spring break for the majority of us so looking very forward to this and overall we have a bunch going on there there's also a bunch of other cool kansas city attractions such as the nelson atkins Museum of Art, the National World War I Museum, the Historic Union Station, a Kansas City Royals, a Cleveland Guardians baseball game, and a KC Monarchs minor league game. So those should be really fun. And if there is enough interest, they will uh, get some group rates going. So that's very cool. And if you're interested, you can email them right there as well. So the rest of this gets into additional information about the hotel, which we're going to show you a little bit more on. But again, that's um, honestly probably the biggest takeaway from this. If you want a room at the hotel convention site, I would recommend getting that done right now because they already said limited availability on Wednesday and Thursday. It's going to go quick. So if you are interested, definitely get that going because it's going to be very important. We get into some detail about Kansas City here in the prices and whatnot. Uh, here's the poster as well. If you wouldn't mind for airliners, please print this out and go hang it up around your local area, whether that's at airport, a airline workplace, so on and so forth. Getting the word out about this convention is huge and how we get more people here. So for the sake of all of us and just for the convention in general, if you could do that for us, that would be absolutely awesome. So the hyperlink is here and feel free to email me and I'll send you a link to it if you don't already have it. Or I'll try to put a PDF in the comment. Actually, that's what I'll do. So check out the comments for that. So really cool poster in general, by the way, just anyways. So the new Kansas City Airport is going to be super fun. So looking super forward to that. And then we'll get into the one day shows momentarily. So JJ, what do you think about all this information? I personally think that's fantastic. Fantastic. What are you thinking? I absolutely agree. All fantastic information that we've got going here for Airliners International 2024 in Kansas City. 
Cannot agree enough. We do have some additional one day shows since the last time we talked about. We'll skim over those really quick. So San Francisco, like I said, is taking place on March 9th. Toronto will be on April 7th. Here's all the international ones, by the way, by the way as well, everybody. Dallas will be on April 20th. And then Chicago will be on May 11th this year. That should be awesome. And then Los Angeles' first summer show back in a very long time will be on Saturday, June 1st, 2024. So really exciting to see that. And awesome to see the Los Angeles community getting back to double annual shows. What a fun uh, uh, way to get those back going. In addition, Cleveland has their scheduled for August 24th, 2024, which is news to me. They even have an $89 room rate, which I thought was really great. So that's awesome to hear. And then we also have Newark September 7th, San Francisco 2nd on September 21st, Atlanta on October 5th, Minneapolis on October 12th, Toronto on, on October 20th, among others. So certainly an awesome list. JJ, what do you think about all these one-day shows? I'm excited. All these one day shows look absolutely fantastic. I am planning on hopefully hitting up the MSP show in October. I'd love to do the Atlanta one also, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do both. So it's going to be one or the other for me. But I think more than likely I'll probably be heading over to that Minneapolis show again because the one in 2023 was really good. Their best turnout that they had ever. A lot of people were there and I got some great stuff out of it. Had a fun time there. Can't agree more. Definitely hope to attend many of these myself as well. More plans to come. We'll talk about that in the future, but we're here for Airlines International News, but of course, want to spread awareness to these awesome one-day collectible shows as they're absolutely fantastic. Once again, airlinersinternational.org is where you'll be doing a healthy amount of your airliner's work. Of course, we have various tabs, but once again, to get you caught up to speed, if you do need to book that hotel, the hotel information can be found up here on the top tab where you have hotel info. So here it is in the Hilton MCI reservations is where you'll do that. So definitely after that if you are interested in that and then we have some updated vendor information so real quick i'll show you briefly what the uh, layouts are looking like along with the vendor list. So let me go ahead and do that right here. So here's what the ballrooms are looking like. So there's quite a variety of them that we'll be using this year, but we have the main ones, Shawnee A and Shawnee B, which are both about 3,000 square feet each. And then we have some smaller ones, Kansas C, e, uh, Kansas C, D, and E. These are gonna be important for the seminars. And then we'll have Kansas A and Kansas B, which are both 1,200 each. And then you can see some other various amenities. These are where all the rooms are on level one. You can see over here, we have some various restaurants. It's quite nice. Some more ballrooms over here in the top left. You have a boardroom, some restrooms here, which are nice and conveniently located. So that's quite awesome, along with many other amenities there too. And then here's a little bit more of a detailed look. So the Shawnee ballroom obviously laid out with uh, what appears to be, I could be wrong, but it appears to be like a 10 by 10 layout or so, somewhere around that, about 100 tables. Then we got the wall tables, of course, which look great. Hans Ballroom is very uh, similar. And then we have the vendor list right here. So you can see right here, already so many vendors have been confirmed. So if you are interested in buying a table, there are only... 42 tables available so if you are interested in getting the table uh according to this list which i'm assuming is the correct one i would definitely recommend getting after that now because those tables are going quick so we're gonna have a full house of vendors so jj what do you think about all the vendors in the layout i'm loving all the vendors that we've got here we've got a lot of the one person shows and you have some notable ones you have david keller who's a big timetable um seller on ebay you've got dg pilot there as well um, let me see what else. Butch Air USA, Sprue Brothers Models. Mike Chu. A lot of notable guys that are going to be here as well. So cannot wait to get back to the show and meet up with some of these guys again, especially DJ Pilot. He was awesome in Dallas. Looking forward to all that very much. So that's going to be an absolute blast right there. Uh, along with that, if you do need to sign up for this Airlines International newsletter, which I can't recommend enough if you need updated information on the convention, you can push this subscribe down here and put your email right here in the list. And that'll be sending you emails when they do come out. So definitely take a look out for those as well. Uh, we'll try to get you prompt videos as soon as possible, but circumstances do happen. So I just want to make you aware if you do want the up most updated information as soon as possible, this is your best bet to get signed up for the email newsletter right there and then we have some additional information again tours will be out here in the next month or so so our next video will certainly be getting into major detail about that then we have the contest information which is very important as well so feel free to check those out if you're interested we talked about that in the first preparation video too seminars have not been posted yet but again those will be massive topics in the coming weeks so stay on the lookout for that and of course there's a bunch of information about airliners international so if you're interested in all this information definitely check it out 
out on here too, which is fantastic. And outside of that, for the website, this has all the information that you need. So definitely check it out. Links in the description. I can't recommend getting that hotel booked enough. Luckily, it looks like we might have a second option if we are going to need it. So that's going to be great. But I can't stress the convenience enough of being in the show hotel. It's so easy. In 2022 at Chicago, I walked over from the A loft every day. It wasn't miserable, but I will say that it's just so nice and convenient to be in the same hotel. So I can't recommend that enough. And this is your time to jump on it if you are interested. JJ has done a fantastic job assembling the Airlines International 2023 community content playlist. As you can see here, there's over 200 videos now, 213 to be exact, and the playlist has 1,200 views. It is a great place to binge watch if you're interested, or even just to come in here and hop in for a couple videos uh, one evening before you're winding down for bed. This is a great place to get to catch up on Airlines uh, content. And as you can see here, there is white a quite a wide variety of content from plane spotting videos to model aircraft unboxings to ballroom vlogs to welcome receptions you name it it's in here so if you're curious about any particular event or uh just overall uh what's the word i was looking for a component of airlines international i would refer you to here as there's a bunch of great information here so jj what do you think about the playlist that you've developed so far the playlist is absolutely incredible. The community response out of this uh, Dallas show has just been amazing. It's like fourfold over the one in Chicago, which only had about 50 videos in it. So the playlist itself, it's going to continue to grow a little bit more as we move closer to the Kansas City show. I know Connor's got a couple more videos in the uh, backlog that have yet to be posted, but those should be coming out very soon, hopefully. And I'm guessing there may be a couple others. I'll put their, the, they'll put some other videos out here in the future as well. So we're looking forward to rounding out the playlist here pretty soon and shifting our focus over to Kansas City later this year. Absolutely. It's going to be an absolute blast. And since we're here real quick, I will show you the Airlines International 2024 playlist that JJ has begun. And this has all kinds of great content in it here as well. Already six videos, which at this point I would say is fantastic. So various preparation videos, and it's going to be super fun to see this playlist develop. So if you're interested in additional information from various perspectives, I would refer you to here. So really great and looking very forward to that as well. In the link in the description, as always, I've included here in Airlines international budgeting sheet so you can see here i have an example listed but you can go and download this for yourself if you're interested this does a really good job outlining potentially how much money you're going to need and budgeting is so important jj can certainly attest to that so as you can see right here registration and tours collectibles hotel airfare gas rental car etc transportation collect transporting collectibles excuse me meals water snacks etc emer uh, extra and emergency money so on and so forth all of that is really important to account for when you're budgeting for a trip that could be this large i just have a figure up there hopefully it's not quite that much in most circumstances but again emergency money is important and it's really important so that you don't run out of money jj can certainly attest with his examples i'm sure Yep. Um, first time I went in uh, Chicago, that was that was when it really happened. It was well, it was before Connor even got to the ballroom for the first time. I had already gone through all of my budget. So I learned my lesson from that. And in Dallas, it was much better. I think I still had some cash left over, but my spending was more evenly distributed throughout uh, the convention in Dallas. And it should be and it will be the same way in Kansas City. So I recommend others to not make the same mistake that I did if you're going to the the first time don't blow through your money in the first 30 minutes because that's not going to do you any good don't touch it Sorry, I had to. That was too good an opportunity to do that. Anyways, and last but certainly not least, if you're looking for uh, good airfare prices, I can't recommend utilizing Google Flights enough. For example, I have Syracuse, New York, the Kansas City, Missouri put in here. And what you can do with Google Flights is you can come on here and pick the days. But you can see here that Google Flights is nice enough to show you the prices of every day in a calendar format. So for example, for airliners, you can see that it's $50 less as of right now on to go on Tuesday, April 25th than Monday, for example. And then it's a little bit cheaper to come back on Sunday, June 30th, instead of the 29th. So it's just an example and a great place to utilize. So you can see here from Syracuse, for example, JetBlue actually has the cheapest price right now at $315 with a flight that has a connection in Boston. But we're going to go ahead and click on this so I can show you how all this works. And then a separate ticket on Delta coming back is the cheapest price coming back. But it's really important to note that it gives you trends. So as you can see right here, that's lower than normal for economy on this route, which is really great to see. And you can just follow the trends and you can even track the prices 
you can utilize this tab right here and this will help you get the lowest price this is what jj did for his flight to dallas in 2023 and it worked out really well and he saved as much money as possible on that itinerary so overall really excited for this year's show it's going to be super fun again more updates are coming very soon i would expect additional updates to be coming out by the end of this month so expect those videos to come on my channel and again i can't stress enough to get signed up for this newsletter because it has all the information that you're going to want to know and get that hotel done if you're interested because that is the biggest takeaway right now i'm really impressed that they still have rooms but those rooms are going to be going very soon so if you want rooms at her at uh, Kansas City for the Hilton Hotel. Definitely get that going. Otherwise, you'll figure out. So, but it's okay. There's luckily hotels really close. So there are additional options. But in the meantime, definitely watch that first preparation video if you haven't already. A bunch of great information in there. And then just keep binge watching the playlist. They're super fun. I'm looking very forward to them. And I'm really excited for what's to come in the future. We'll talk more about future content plans for airliners coming up. JJ and I have some really cool ideas going into this year's convention with some additional content that can be made. So those are currently being developed. And we'll report back with those when we have more information. So JJ, any final thoughts? and any concluding words uh, for today's preparation of Airlines International 2024 in Kansas City? Just kind of going off what you said, I'm very much excited for this big show again. My third time going now, it's crazy just how much time has flown since I went to this first show. It feels like yesterday when I first heard about Airlines International. It's just a little spark that started off this whole new movement, this new generation of people coming to the show and will likely have it be carried on for another 30, 40, 50 years or more. So I'm very much looking forward to being a part of this next generation of aviation enthusiasts that will be attending Airliners International every year, always in the summer. I couldn't have said it better myself. I'm looking so forward to this year's convention. Definitely get signed up if you all haven't already. Again, this registration is fantastic. You can see here with the portal link here at the bottom. Definitely check this out with the uh, new registration. And of course, if you're already registered, check it out down here too. So really looking forward to this. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. It's going to be a huge convention this year. Looking so forward to it. And we're going to Kansas City, gosh darn it. And I'm looking forward to it. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. So with all that being said, everybody get ready for Chris Slimmer. He's going to be ready to be be there and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic convention this year so with all that being said everybody that'll do it for today's video thank you all so much for watching one thank each and every one of you for watching my name is Redder of aviation take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is Redder of aviation I want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as Redder of aviation is signing off